Hello everyone, this is Sergeant 274 and uh, this is post-commentary. This video all the way up through episode 17 is going to be post-commentary well, and fast-forwarded. Why is it going to be post-commentary and fast-forwarded? Because when I spent the, I don't know, four hours-ish recording all the episodes, I thought I was recording my microphone at the time, um, but I was not. So instead of going through every episode at full speed trying to do post commentary i decided that i shall spare myself and you guys of that um, so i'll just fast forward through most of the footage um and i'll be pausing you're not pausing it but i'll be doing it and uh, showing real the boss fights and if there's anything else semi-important in real time so anyways we're heading to uh world 3-1 which is a tower of latria today uh, World 3 is probably my favorite of Demon Souls. Um, I just really enjoy the atmosphere um, and the level design. So, <coughs> here we are. You basically have those octopus uh, jailers or whatever. I picked up the wizard starting stuff there. Um, <coughs> basically, you have a bunch of dead prisoners here in their cell. Dead prisoners. Undead. Um, prisoners in their cell here I can't get through so I have to go find a key and murder these poor people in the process so now we have to cross over to the other side murder the guard and in here in here it's coming trust me <laughs> Yeah, where is it at? Come on. One of these cells. We find, yeah, the silver coronet, which I equip. Just because I have nothing on my head and it's better than nothing. It helps with stamina regen or something like that. But not stamina, magic regen. I believe something along those lines, but I don't really need it. Although I do have curse weapon, which uh, I will be taking advantage of later. And more of the same... Um, you know, it's kind of a shame that the audio didn't work because, um, well, maybe not in this episode necessarily, but um, closer to episode like 16 and 17 that I'll upload when I can, um, I got somewhat frustrated, so the commentary was either really, well, it's never good, but it, uh, I became very frustrated, so, and you'll see why, because I go into the Valley Defilement um, in those later episodes. But anyways, we continue here, and I, you can, can't really hear it in the background very well because of the sound, obviously. Is, um, well, there you go. Now you can hear it a little bit there. Uh, there's some chick singing to us, singing us a lullaby here. There's also some guy grunting really loudly. So, And there's a thief set, uh, which is actually pretty good. I actually unequipped the coronet and put the thief uh, mask on there. kind of is hard on the eyes, isn't it? <laughs> so hopefully none of you get like motion sickness or anything because of this. I don't don't mean it. And yeah. You can see there aren't really a lot of enemies in this area. It is a prison after all, but uh I guess people do kind of the prisoners here can attack you. And there we got the secret dagger. And yeah, basically in this level you have to go around finding the key so you can progress to the next area, etc, etc. And these guys are fairly easy, although, as you'll see, not, not in this episode I don't think, but uh, they have pretty vicious magic attacks. There's one that like stuns you, and if you get stunned they can basically just kill you. Here's the chick, she's royalty, I think she's a queen or something like that. Uh, she sells some good stuff. I don't think I bought anything from her. So yeah, she was imprisoned. But she's still doing okay. That there, you can drop down to the next level. I don't at this time because I want to see what is... Uh, see if there's anything I missed on the other side. And there really wasn't. <laughs> so then for some reason I go back. Actually, I have no idea where I'm going now because it's going so freaking fast. There we go, now we're heading back the right way. 
Yeah, seeing those guys can attack you. I'm losing some health there, all the way down to half, half health. Pop some grass, and we're good. So it's kind of like a maze in this area. And I wouldn't say a maze, but it's, you know, you have to have a good sense of direction or where you are going or where you came from. I guess there's a... I thought there were more guys that popped out of those, like, uh, torture chambers or death chambers that killed you, but um, I only got um, poisoned by one. So here is Sage Freck, Freak, Frecke, Freakalicious. Uh, he obviously is a magic, the advanced magic trainer, teacher. Uh, we don't have the key now to free him, um, so we can't do that. We don't have the key to, that's like the warden's passage or something like that, the jailer's passage. Uh, we'll be taking that later, but again, we don't have the key. For some reason here, I just want to double check to make sure that the key we got didn't free him, but obviously I, I kind of knew it wouldn't. I don't know why I went back there anyways. There we get the heavy crossbow. And now we're just waiting. The thief ring helps a little bit in this area. Um, but pretty soon here, I will not be able to use the thief ring anymore because I will pick up a bunch of equipment. Here's Mr. I forget, shoot, I forget his name now. Lord Rydell, I think. Um, yeah, he's, he's a blue phantom. He's trapped in there. And in order to get him out, we need the key. But in order to get the key to free him, you need pure white world tendency. So, and there's nothing else to do up there. So we have to finally come all the way down here and loot everything. And here is the uh, fluted set. But you see, I don't have enough uh, equipment burden to pick it up. So I have to throw on the Ring of Herculean Strength. And I really don't know what I'm doing at this point in time. Wow, this commentary is so dry. I, this is why I don't like post-commentary. I mean, it probably could be more informative than, you know, commentary or live commentary, but it you don't get that reaction or that, you know, that authenticity of live commentary. Whatever. Alright, so over here, I think I actually end the original episode at this point in time. Um, but we're going to continue on because... Why not, right? Exactly. <laughs> 30 minutes just went by in about a little over 7, so that's pretty cool. There was like a... I don't know what you would call it. Something of souls or... Kind of reminiscent of the, thing, of the things in the New Londo runes there. The mass of souls or something like that kind of reminiscent of that um, yeah I don't want to go that way okay where am I going here I, I think we did we miss the cutscene already with the big old statue shooting arrows at everything no I don't think we missed that yet there I got the s -talk. Which is a very good weapon, actually, just not for me um, in this playthrough. Although I could use it, I don't see, you know, there's really no harm in using it. There, the bug decided to commit suicide. Instead of let me kill him, yeah, here's the machine of death. Basically, it shoots a bunch of arrows at you through this hallway, or down that uh, path, the bridge there. Um, so I roll through, and I grab that treasure, and you can climb your way back up here and here and there's another treasure down this way which is the mercury rapier and this I believe at this point in time I'm stuck because I don't know where to go um, I haven't acquired a key even though as you'll see in a couple seconds or minutes I don't know how long it takes me to get back there that I rolled right by it <laughs> so I'm just kinda backtracking here wondering where the heck the key is and the, hey it's right there oh I rolled right over it yeah, it's on that corpse right there that I keep rolling over and right by yeah so this is me just being an idiot going back and forth surprised I didn't jump down there that's something I might have done so yeah this is me being a fool 
Just the usual, you know. Yeah, of course I can't get through the door if it was locked earlier and I haven't acquired a key. <sighs> Whatever. Hopefully now I'm going back to the right... I don't know what I'm doing. Thank God this isn't in real time for you guys because this will probably be extremely frustrating. Okay, I'm back out here. Hey, look at this. It's the key. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, Alright, back to the door. It doesn't open that door. <laughs> God, that's the warden's path there. So basically you can bypass going down that uh, bridge with the um, arrow machine on it. There, I got lucky and missed his magic stun attack. So if they stun you, they can then, you know, kind of like... Kind of like uh, in... Um, the Duke's archives, those uh, the maidens there, the cursed maidens or what, whoever they are. But you come down here and you can go through the fog gate and you can shut the machine off. So now you can go loot everything that is on the bridge here and the clever cat's ring, which is kind of like the red tear stone ring in Dark Souls, only it's uh, below 30% in Demon Souls here. Up this side of the bridge is kind of pointless. Um, let me see, this is a long walk into the cathedral here, or whatever. Uh, I tried to shoot an arrow at the guy across there, because that's who you have to kill in order to do damage to the boss. A little bit like Seath, uh, like the Seath fight in Dark Souls, where you have to obviously kill, the, destroy the crystal first. Um, here you have to go destroy the guy up on top of the, um, or in the upper part of the church there which is where I am going now you have to kill him in order to do damage to the boss you fool and your idol alright cool and there's the key to unlock uh, Sage Frick's cell here is a trap you come down here get the widow's lotus and there's a red phantom there that is invisible at this point in time shooting arrows at you i try to roll here or bolts i guess i should say it didn't work uh, but here's my fight i think i slow it down yeah this is in real time you can well, it looks so slow compared to the other time here's my great tactic here just keep whacking her <laughs> i think i try to parry here and it doesn't work very well i think i do get a parry in though Dagger, pairing daggers are, is pretty hard because the attacks are pretty quick. There she, she was backstab fishing me there. There I got the backhanded uh, secondary attack parry off and proceeded to kill her. And for killing her, you get that. Great. Alright, have I fast forwarded this part? No, I have not because the boss fight is right up there. And uh, there's going to be a cutscene. So as you approach the chapel or cathedral or whatever, cutscene time. Alright, so there's the boss, Fool's Idol, um, and there's a bunch of fools here worshipping her. She's like a false, uh, false hope for these dead people here, or the suffering. Uh, basically, she's a pretty easy boss. However, she kind of uh, she has a pinwheel effect that she'll clone herself um, once you hit her. Here, I take these guys out just because if I'm dead, going to be dodging around the room. Uh, 
I don't want them to, you know, get in my way. However, as you'll see very shortly, um, there are other things that get in my way. All right, so like I said, she's not going to attack you on spot. I don't even have the thief ring on here. The thief ring might have been good for this, actually. Um, but, yeah, I couldn't wear it because I picked up the uh, fluted set. So here we go, curse weapon. Attack damage plus 50. And here I whack the crap out of her. Unfortunately, I should have let my stamina recharge because I might have been able to get one more hit in there and kill her outright in one going. Now you can see here... Yeah, the rest of this fight um, doesn't go so well. Yeah, that's bad. I thought I could hide behind here. Nope. How about here? Nope. How about <laughs> how about by a wall? All right, here I finally get to heal, but you can see she cloned herself, and I don't know. I don't remember how to tell which is the real one, um, but obviously in rewatching this, I know because she throws. You can see the different type of magic being used there. The other ones throw the little bolts or arrows, soul arrows, whatever they are. And she throws the, the big one. It just so happens I went after the right one here and was able to kill her. So, that one too bad, but one too good either. And then last but not least, after you kill Fool's Idol, instead of approaching the altar um, from straight on, you kind of want to go around the side. Uh, because you can pick up the baby's nail. And then you approach the altar and this happens. So yeah, you can see that Dark Souls took a lot of inspiration from Demon Souls. Um, there's a lot of repeat animations and um, similarities between the two of them. So from here, make sure you don't fall off. <laughs> Come up here and we're going to use the uh, Archstone. Go back to the Nexus, uh, deposit all of our heavy junk that we probably won't, <coughs> excuse me, never ever use. Uh, I think we level up here, even though she didn't give us very much. Uh, she doesn't give many souls. Um, yeah, I think I do. I change my outfit here at all? No, I don't change my outfit. And here we have to pop a soul in order to level up. And you can see we increase dex. And then I think after this, I start going straight for a bunch of uh, endurance, so I can wear a little better better armor. All right. Anyways, so we die, and there's still some time in this video. What are we doing? Oh, wait. What are we? What else are we doing in this video? Oh, we're reading the Archstones. There you go. Yeah. You can pause and read it. It kind of gives a good story about everything. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot. And we go rescue. Now that we have the key, uh, we go rescue old Sage Freak. And uh, allow him to come back. <coughs> Excuse me. To the Nexus there. And it's a little ways to get to old Freak. There he is. He talks to you, says thank you, and he'll meet you back at the Nexus. Him and there's a little ball of light. And he gives you the, uh, he gives you something there. <laughs> I forget what he gives you. I think it's like a little magic weapon or something. I'm sorry. It went by so fast. So here, I can't find my way back. Um, <laughs> I remember this part. I was so frustrated. I could not find my way back. And then I walk right by. I literally like walk right by the where uh, where the archstone is. But anyways, okay, sorry guys, sorry for the kind of monotone and boring uh, post commentary. But just what it is. All right, I shall see you next time, and we'll do another fast forwarded episode. Hoorah! Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.